For those of you who don't know me, I'm Katie from Peaceful Pods. Welcome to the yoga space in our living room. We're happy to have you along for this yoga journey. I'm here with my Peaceful Pods crew, also known as my family. I've got my son, Tobias, and my daughter, Maddie. My husband, Jack, is running the video tape for us. We have the Peaceful Pods puppies. Murphy and Zoe, and we may, may have our peaceful pause kitty come join us at some point. Who knows? Um, we're here in our house, um, and we've been doing a lot of yoga in this living room. Like you, um, this is a time when a lot of us can't do much traveling. Um, so we have planned an adventure. We're going to take an imaginary trip because we can go anywhere we want in our imagination. And we're going to take a trip all around the world. And along the way, we'll, we'll meet some animal friends and we're going to move our bodies with our breath. And videotaping our classes is something new for us. So we're going to try to hold ourselves with a little bit of kindness and a little bit of compassion as we work this out. If you at home are new to yoga, uh, we ask that you also carry a little bit of gentleness and kindness and compassion while you try something new. And somehow, hopefully, we'll have, we'll have some fun along the way. Um, but we do like to begin our classes by ringing my magic singing bowl. Magic singing bowl sort of invites us to this moment right here and right now. And this magic singing bowl helps us to open our hearts. If you were sitting here next to me, you would be able to feel the sound vibration. I'm not sure at all if you can feel the sound vibrations at your house. You can experiment and you can let us know. I'm not sure. Um, sometimes when I'm listening to the singing bowl, it helps me if I close my eyes. Sometimes I like to put my hands on my heart. If that's comfortable, you can try that, or you can sort of just open up your ears and have a listen. You do what works for you. us to this moment in time. The other thing that we like to do at the beginning of class is we like to sing a greeting song. And this is a childlike yoga greeting song. I am going to sing it. And then when I point to you, you guys can be my echo because you probably aren't that familiar with it. My kids are going to be my echo too, very graciously. Um, so it goes like this. Hello there. Hello there. This is the yoga way. This is the yoga way. To greet our friends, we say. To greet our friends, we say. Namaste. Namaste. And namaste is a yoga word that we use to say hello and goodbye. And it means pretty simply the light and the goodness inside of me sees the light and the goodness inside of all of you. And together, we shine our light and brighten the world. Um, so, let's get started. You can come into a comfortable seated position. We have yoga mats here in our living room. If you have a yoga mat, great, pull it out. If you don't have a yoga mat, you can use a towel, you can just sit on your rug, or whatever feels comfy and cozy. As I said, today we're going to take a trip in our minds all the way around the world. And to begin our journey, I'm thinking we're going to travel by hot air balloon. Now, we're going to blow up our very own hot air balloons. And to blow up our balloons, we're going to use a special kind of breath. I like to call it the magic calming breath. And it can be used, like if you're going traveling around the world, you might be a little bit anxious or sort of stressed. Or if you're stuck in your house for a very long period of time, you might be a little worried and stressed. Um, 
This breath helps to settle your body and settle your mind so you feel a little bit more peaceful. And to do the magic calming breath, you breathe in very slowly through your nose, deep breath through your nose, and then exhale slowly long through your mouth. It's kind of like you're blowing up a balloon. So we can imagine that we have kind of a deflated balloon here. You can decide what color you want your outer balloon to be. Any color, any pattern. So together we'll blow it up. Take a deep breath in through your nose. That's not going to carry us around the world, clearly. So let's do another one. Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale. You're getting there, but I think we need another breath. Ready? Deep breath in through your nose. Exhale. I think that's going to work. We've got our balloons all set and ready to go. And they lift up in a wind current stretch your arms up and then the wind takes us over to one side reach your balloon off to one side inhale back up exhale over to the other side inhale back up exhale your balloon is getting pulled forward round your back let your hands fall to the ground inhale back up exhale you might you might get pulled backwards you might even roll back roll back and rock yourself back up the wind picks you up high and you're carried on the wind see if you can do six circles one way and stop three circles the other way your balloon land gracefully. Get up, look around. Friends, you are not going to believe this, but we have already traveled to Africa. We've landed in the desert in southern Africa. And look around, look around. Well, we might need binoculars hard to see in the desert. Take a peek. Look up. I see off in the desert a tiny animal about the size of a squirrel and it's just emerging from its burrow. This animal is a meerkat and this meerkat has just woken up. It sleeps inside of its burrow but the burrow is kind of chilly so when the sun comes up in the morning the meerkat creeps on out and opens its heart to the sunshine, lets the sun shine on its face. And this meerkat, which has come out of the burrow, is a meerkat scout. A meerkat scout is responsible for keeping watch over the entire meerkat family. This is a very serious job. Now, the meerkat Look up at the sun and take a big breath in. Reach up. Exhale, let it go. The scout shakes off any, any bad dreams or worries about the day. Shake it off. And then the meerkat is so excited to warm up in the sunshine that it decides to do a little dance to celebrate the sun. So, my friends at home, you can follow along with me and our meerkat as we do a dance for the sun. So inhale, sweep your arms up. Exhale, fold down to the ground so you can control your toes. And inhale, peek at me. Exhale, hands go down to the ground and step your left foot back and bend your right foot. Your back foot is straight and strong and your front foot is bent in a roadrunner pose. Take a big breath in here. Now let it go. Step to your right foot back and keep your body straight and strong in a plank and take a big breath in. Feel how strong you are. Exhale, lower your knees down to the ground and then slither your chest on the ground and with an inhale, 
lift up into a little baby cobra pose. Little baby cobra pose. You can even head it. Ah, there's company around you. <laughs> Take a good breath in. Exhale. Touch your toes under. Lift your hips up to the sky and push into your hands. Let your head drop down. You might even peek at your feet behind you. You may like lift a puppy dog tail. This is downward facing dog. You might lift a paw and say hi to your friends. If there are any friends in your room. Then put that foot down and lift your other paw. And say hi. Hello. Hello. Then take a big breath in. Exhale. Step your left foot up to road runner on the other side. Feel your leg. Nice and strong. Your front foot is bent and your back leg is straight. Take a big breath in. Then step your right foot up to meet the left and hang in a forward fold. You can shake your hips. I like to shake my hips here. And inhale, keep it in. Exhale, fold down. Inhale, sweep your arms up to the sky. Exhale, release them. And we're back into our alert meerkat mountain pose. Now the meerkat has to keep watch over the whole family, the scout meerkat. So we inhale and we look forward. Exhale, look to one side. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, look to the other side. Inhale, back to center. Guess what the meerkat sees? Ah, on the horizon in the desert, there is a camel plodding along. He decides that he'd like to go for a ride on the camel. So let's come down onto our knees and see if we can turn our bodies into a camel pose. You might like to put your hands on your lower back with your fingers pointing down. Take a big breath and open up your heart. Let it go. Then you may like to tuck your toes under or you can leave them flat. Everybody's body is different, so you do what works for you. So take a breath in, and then you might like to exhale and reach back for your ankles as your heart opens up. That's it, nice big breath here. Exhale, let it go. We may even like to dance on our camel. So we inhale and reach one arm up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, reach the other arm up. Exhale, bring it down. And inhale, bring your hands to your back and come back up. We have danced on our camel all the way to the other coast of Africa. Since we're in Africa, we have got to go visit the island of Madagascar. Because the island of Madagascar is the only spot where you can find moose in the wild, in the whole world. So I'm thinking we should go to the island of Madagascar. To get there, we're going to do a little swimming. Because yeah. most of us need some exercise. Let's see. <laughs> so we are going to crawl onto our belly, and we're going to do a little bit of swimming to get to this island. Now, let's go swimming, friends. You may like to do the breaststroke. <laughs> you may like to do the breaststroke. Or front crawl. You can front crawl, kick your legs, do it on speed. <laughs> Same thing here. 
make sure that you talk to whoever's giving you the hip flexor. They know just what you like and what feels good because you are the boss of your own body. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> we can probably stay in child's pose all day. Um, but we look up, and since we are on the island of Madagascar now, we will find tons and tons of dancing lemurs. This is true. So, put one foot forward, one foot back, bend the front knee, reach the arms long, and we come into our dancing lemur pose. Hi! Hi! <laughs> <laughs> and they, <laughs> they actually dance like this. So you may like to wiggle those to my hands. And lemurs on the island of Madagascar have no predators, which means they're feeling very confident. So you may like to flip your hands, flip your palms up, take a big breath in, reach up, straighten your legs, exhale, sink down. And you may say, anything is possible. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. Now, bring your arms forward, plant them down, and see if you can switch legs. Mm -hmm. Jump to switch. Ready? Take a big breath. Exhale, switch. Friend at home. You can walk that way or you can jump. Now, rise up. And go towards the other side of your mat. And you're a dancing lemur. You may like to flip your palms up. Take a big breath and straighten your front leg. Exhale, sink back down. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. And dance around. <laughs> and let's see. Come plant your hands again. And bring your knees to the mat. We could dance with the lemurs all day, but we've got places to be. So we're going to have to swim off this island. I know, my, <laughs> my children are tired, but swim we must. We don't have any other way to get across the channel. Are you ready? Onto your bellies, friends, and home. See if you can swim with me. We're not going to bash you. You can choose. You can do whatever kind of swimming you want. You choose. You can mix it up. Well, Tobias is a very fast swimmer. And we've made it. We're back. We're back to the mainland of Africa. Now, we're going to adapt. We're going to need a vehicle. So, let's, let's kind of go on safari. We're going to travel across the plains. I think we should go in a jeep. So, legs come out in front of you. Back is straight and strong. And I hope you guys have some keys. Check your pocket. All right, I got, got mine. It's in pocket. We've got our Jeep ready. Hand on the wheel. And we start driving. We can go forward. Look out the window. See what kind of exotic wildlife you see. You can go backward. You can drive all around. But, but, oh goodness. You start to feel raindrops. Can you pitter patter? Put a patter on your chest. And then tap your shin. Ooh, this rainstorm is getting bigger and pop your thighs. Stomp your feet. easier to see that way. Okay, and now, after that great big rainstorm, the sun comes out. There's the sun. And when we have a bit of rain and some sunshine, we get a rainbow. A rainbow. A rainbow. So, let's see if we can do some rainbow kicks. Come onto your hands and your knees and stretch one leg back and then bring it across your body. And paint one rainbow. Oh. Then bring that down. Stretch your other leg back. Bring it across your body. And paint another rainbow. Double rainbow. That's beautiful. So we stop our car. We take a look. And we see a huge herd of elephants that are frolicking in the rain. So come to standing. Step your legs wide. Get your elephant trunk, interlace your fingers. Then with a big breath, reach up high. Exhale, fold forward and dip your trunk into the water. 
Take a big breath in. Fill your mouth up with water and exhale. Spray your friend. Don't spray the camera. Ready? Inhale. Reach up. Exhale. Fold. Take a big breath in. Get a little bit wet. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's raining at our house too. <laughs> it's raining everywhere. But we're soaking wet. See if you can wipe some of that water off. Get it off. Oh, we're soaking wet. Actually, let's have a little walk so we can try to dry off a bit. And I see a pride of lions. And they are trying to find some shade beneath the tree. See if you can put your big toes together with your knees wide and then get your lion paw out in front of you. Point your fingers towards your body if that feels okay for your arms. And then gently lean forward. Sometimes this can be a nice wrist stretch. Lions are sitting and they're trying to cool off. They're pretty hot. So they do a special kind of breath. This nice cooling, calming breath. Because while the lions do like to hunt from time to time, they spend almost their entire day sleeping and relaxing. So let's see if we can cool our bodies down, just like the lions. A big breath in, and you're going to peek. Imagine you're looking behind you, and then as you exhale, you stick your tongue out. You do a little, little bit of silly, but that's part of the fun. Ready? Take a big breath in. Take off again. We're almost there. 
We're almost there. Stretch your wings and come in for a landing. We landed in India because we are interested to see a cobra. Now, see if you can come onto your belly. Come onto your belly. Put your hands by your rib cage. Elbows back and they tuck in. So you try not to have wind to grab them. Tuck them in. And now take a big breath in. And lift up. And turn your body into a little slithering snake. Some of you would bend back to make a little higher, or you can go lower. The thing with yoga is everybody's body is different, so everybody's pose will look different. Go ahead, take a big breath in. Exhale, lower down. Then push back into your child's pose to give you back a break. Oh, that feels nice. Now, we hang out with the cobras for a little while, but we're off again. We're off again, and this time we're going to walk. It'll be a very long journey, but we're walking from India into the Himalayan mountains because we are in search of a snow leopard. So we're walking. First, things are going very smoothly, but eventually, after a very long time, we do get to the mountains. And the further we walk into these mountains, it gets a little bit snowy. So it starts off that the mountains are kind of small, just little mountains. Then the mountains get really big and very snowy. So as we come up, we lift up, but then bring it down, lift up, bring it down, but we take a step and it's very slippery, so we slip and fall. Down. <laughs> and we try again. Let's try this again, ready? Right? We're trying to go up, we're trying to go up, but we slip and fall down. Let's try this. One more time. Ready? So slowly. Let's do it very slowly. Come up. Come up. And we'll make it to the top. But it's taken so long that it's getting dark. And now reach your arms up. Make a steeple with your fingers as you exhale. Bend over to one side. There's a crescent moon up in the sky. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, crescent moon on the other side. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, step your legs wide and turn yourself into a twinkling star. The moon is out. The star is out. We're in the snowy mountains and it is cold. My friends, it's freezing. So we decide we're going to make a fire. Let's get our fire, fire logs stacked up. Stack up your fire logs. And somebody brought matches, right? I said matches. Let's light the fire and it starts to warm up. Oh, this feels good. Rub your hands together and put them on your heart. Mm, that feels much better. Now it's dark and the snow leopards are nocturnal, so they come out when it's dark. Night vision binoculars. Get them ready. Take a peek. We see a little bit of movement out in the distance. And there, this is our lucky day, because these creatures are very elusive, very hard to spot, but there is a beautiful snow leopard that is walking through the forest. So come and turn your body into a tabletop. Then inhale, lift one big leopard paw. And if you want a challenge, you can try to lift your opposite leg. Take a big breath in. Slowly bring them down. And see if inhale, lift your other paw. If you want to challenge, your leg can come up too, opposite leg. Exhale, bring it down. And then that cat, that beautiful snow leopard, looks, gazes up, the stars and the moon and the sky. Deep breath, lets his heart open up. So happy to just be here now. Then the snow leopard spots us. It gets a little frightened. Runs its back, peeks at its belly, and then runs up. We realize that's the only snow leopard we're gonna see. So we decide it's time for us to move on. So let's get around the whole world. Now we're going by helicopter. So legs go wide, and get your helicopter blades out. Take a big breath in, and then exhale. One side. Inhale. Back to center. Exhale. To the other side. Inhale. Back to center. Exhale. Let it 
legs out. Bring your legs back together. We have landed in China because we are in search of giant pandas. So we travel into the bamboo forest of China where we do spot giant pandas and they hang out all day eating bamboo. That is pretty much all they do. They eat bamboo and sleep. And so we decide to hang out with them for a little while and we roll onto our backs and we send our feet, soles of our feet up to the ceiling and our hands come on the inside of our knees and reach for the outer edges of our foot as we bend our elbows, pulling our feet down and we roll around relaxing with these giant pandas for a bit. So our backs will massage, it's been a really long journey. So we roll around and do this for a while and we crisscross our ankles. Inhale, we roll back and exhale, we come back up. Because we still have to cross a very, very large ocean. We've got to get across the Pacific Ocean. And I think we'll go by boat. Now we have options. You can take a rowboat. Put the soles of your feet on the ground, hands behind you, and lift up your feet. You can lift up your hands and you can row. You can choose to go by a rowboat. If you have some friends doing yoga with you, you can make a partner sailboat. So <laughs> both of my friends want to be partner sailboats. So I'll do one with one of with each of you. So choose. We're going to put our left leg straight and our right leg bends to the inside sole of our foot, inside of our thigh. Then we reach with our left hand. Our right hand comes back as a sail. Maddie and I are partner sailboat. So Maddie and I did it left leg straight. Now we'll do it the other way with Tobias. So our right leg is straight. So straighten your right leg, bend your left. And we reach with our right. Open up with our left. We'll go by sailboat. And we're sailing along, sailing along, or rowing. Yogi's choice. Now, we're very hot. Super hot. So we decide that we would like to jump in the water just to cool off. So come onto your tippy toes, hands behind, peek in, little diver's pose, peek into the water, and let's dive in. Come onto your belly. Oh, so refreshing. And today is our lucky day because there is a pod of dolphins who've come to go swimming and jumping with that pod of dolphins. So we bring Gorham onto the mat and tuck her back toes. Dolphin pose, this is a tough one. So we get our strong bodies ready, we have a big breath in, and exhale, we lift our hips up to the sky. You may like to walk your feet in. And head drops down, and we bring our bodies into dolphin pose. Take a big breath here. Exhale, knees come down to the mat. Lift up. It was so fun to swim with the dolphins, and they all send us wishes for loving kindness on the rest of our journey. But we get back into our boat, and we decide we're really thirsty. So we're going to have a little bit of lemonade. Brought you guys two glasses of lemonade. Hold your glass, and we have straws. So see if you can turn your tongue into a straw. Some people can, and some people can't. Check and see if you can. Can you make a tongue with your straw? A straw would be dumb. Check. If your tongue doesn't do that, it's totally fine. You can just imagine that you're sucking on a straw. That's it. Now, as you breathe in, breathe in through your mouth with your straw tongue, or imagine sucking, so it goes like this. Exhale through your nose. Let's try that again. So you breathe in through your mouth. Exhale through your nose. You may feel cool in your mouth. This is a cooling breath too. Breathe in through your straw. Exhale through your nose. My lemonade is kind of sour, so I'm done with it. You guys all done with yours? You need another breath. You good? So we row or we sail all the way to Central America. And we land on the beach again. So we land on the beach, scurry 
carrying all over the place are a whole bunch of crafts. Put the soles of your feet on your mat, hands behind your back. Inhale, lift your body up, head goes back. And crabs are scurrying forward. So you're going to bring your squat forward. They're going backward. They're going sideways. And the other way. Back to your mat. And inhale, lift one leg. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift the other leg. Exhale, bring it down. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, drop it down. We are headed into the rainforest of Central America. teaches that it's really important to slow it down. Maybe he's always saw a flock. Who knows? Let's see. So to get into the rainforest, we're going to take our yoga bicycle. So feet in the air and start pedaling your bicycle. Pedal, pedal, up the hill. Oh, here's a little hill. Then when we come down the hill, you go backwards. Go backwards down the hill. Your body is feeling calmer and more relaxed. And 
Bring your hand to your belly and there to the heart. And then as you exhale, release your heart so you can begin to heal. And know that you always have your breath. When we bring our attention to the breath, that's when we can find the stillness that's inside of you, no matter what is going on around you. So take a few more minutes here, resting in the waves, on your magic carpet, or your sea water friends, feeling the peace that exists inside of you. And breathe in calm, and then breathe out and you share that peace with the universe. And when you hear the sound of my magic swimming bowl, then you can begin to wiggle your fingers and your toes and start to come back up to sit. Feel the warmth and the love and the light that's inside all of us. Rub it, rub it, rub it, and then put your hands on your heart. Take a great breath in and then exhale. Share that love and light with the world. Inhale, open your arms up wide. Exhale, give yourself a big hug. Inhale, open your arms up wide. Exhale, and hug yourself the other way. Your hands together. The light and the goodness inside of me sees the light and the goodness inside of you. And my friends, we will light up the world. Namaste. Namaste. We hope that you enjoyed this yoga practice uh, in our living room. Um, thank you for joining us. Um, if you enjoyed it, let us know. We may. We may record a few more. We'll see how it goes. But please sh share your thoughts and your feelings. We wish all of you at home well. And we send loving kindness from our hearts to yours. Thanks.